Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to this reading for the new moon in Scorpio energy. I have a list of all of the um, energies and transits that are going on at the moment and I'm going to do a tarot reading <clears throat> for this new moon energy. Um, I also wanted to mention um, that Mercury is going to, you can see Mercury is going into Scorpio on Saturday, November 6th, um, which I think is is interesting because Mars is also in Scorpio and um, we're just dealing with a lot of Scorpio energy. So if you have a moon in Scorpio, you have probably been labeled incorrectly in your life because people sometimes they get um, a little bit um, unsure and even nervous around people who <clears throat> have a much um, deeper kind of personality let's look at the chart here we have the new moon energy there in scorpio and this new moon is right on fixed star called alfeca alfeca is a um, star in the constellation of um corona borealis which is kind of shaped like a bowl but it is also seen as a crown and the story with alfeca is that um well, it's, it's connected to the myth of Dionysus and Ariadne. And he fell in love with her while she was sleeping. So I wanted to encourage you to go and look up that story because I don't want to get into it um, and talk about it. I just want to do the reading. Um, but I do think that that myth and that kind of energy of Alfeca with this new moon opposite Uranus in Taurus is very interesting. And I feel like if you are starting a new partnership or uh, something new uh, and <clears throat> there's risks involved, I feel like take the risk, take the chance to, to start something here. It's actually a really beautiful kind of energy with it on that fixed star. And the possibilities of something that you could start with this energy is quite, I think, quite significant and amazing. So what is it that you want to explore? Because the degree that this is on is 13. And this, I'll read this to you. An inventor performs a laboratory experiment. This symbol shows the ability or necessity of being able to take risks, to be an explorer, or someone who does things differently than most people. It's your job to look for creative solutions and work with them when things are not working. You probably need to try different combinations and different possibilities in order to have the desired result. Being willing to go out on a limb bring, can bring all kinds of unexpected results. Some wonderfully rewarding, but some if not well considered could end up blowing up in your face. By persevering, you will not find, only find solutions to complex situations, but also learn a lot from any errors you make along the way. Creating one's vision, being prepared to take risks, uh, sorry, bring, being prepared to risk failure, taking calculated risks, looking for answers and going outside the square, the drill, the thrill of the unknown, untested and untried. So the negative with this is outcomes obscured by pointless goals, um, making things up, being one-eyed and focused to the exclusion of all else, ignoring warning signs and always, push, always pushing boundaries. <clears throat> so if you have something to explore, you want to explore something, it could be in yourself, in a relationship, um, because it's saying that there will be all kinds of unexpected results that are rewarding, but if not considered well, could end up um, in a bad way. So. To me, this is an energy of focus on what you want to build at the moment that is going to enable you to explore what you, you want to explore. Invent it. Invent the thing. Um, <clears throat> create it. And um, take the risk. The first card that's come out is it's bent now. The Eight of Pentacles. So this is a card of diligence, 
and studiosity. It's the apprenticeship card. And it's also like coming to a point where you understand something and you're going to explore something new now or explore the next chapter, explore the next thing. So we have the eight of pentacles with this. Let's just go back to the chart. Next card we have is the six of swords. So this is about moving on and moving away from a previous situation, a past situation, a, even a, a certain way of thinking <clears throat> and discovering something that clicks into place for you. It makes sense. There is a danger here of ignoring something. So what it says about <clears throat> the, um, the warning signs, don't ignore the warning signs. If something <clears throat> is coming up <clears throat> for you to look at, a warning sign doesn't mean just scrapping it, the whole idea completely or the thing, whatever it is. You just have to look at it on a deeper level because this is in Scorpio energy. And if you are in a habit of doing this, of not wanting to look at that thing because it's too too heavy or whatever, or it's too complicated, complex, um, there is a danger. So what is the message here with that? The Hierophant, the High Priestess. And the Eight of Cups, but it's in reverse. So I feel like they might they might be part of the part of the journey, part of the individual um, progression into this new moon energy of you know wanting deciding that you want to explore something and you're starting to look at things that you didn't look at before. Something comes up, it's a bit scary looking, or you don't know how to deal with it, so you kind of just do the four of cups thing, which is ignore it. But what that does is it, it prevents you from going higher into something that is, um, you know, uh, more, what's the word, um, compatible with you. So something here is really compatible with you, something you've been thinking about. And I feel like it's saying when things aren't working or there's like a warning sign, if there is, if the, if the action that is taken with this new moon energy is to ignore it, I feel like you will end up with something that is incompatible with you. So the Hierophant, the High Priestess, this is like the, the ultimate couple in the tarot. The Hierophant represents the systems of the world, um, religion, education, government, um, corporate kind of system, um, everything that has been, has been created as a system for the people. Um, but it also kind of represents walking through a gateway into something new and learning something um, with the high priestess this is this is like walking into basically a place for you that might be um, <clears throat> difficult to move on from or let to let go of something here something that may you may have been ignoring we've been ignoring something So also with the Alfeca um, fixed star energy on the new moon in Scorpio, I feel like this is this, if you can imagine and visualize a, um, a queen or a king who has um, explored some sense of darkness within themselves and there is an entitlement 
And so I feel like there's this, this uh, wanting to move into something new, uh, more explorations. The Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Underneath the deck is the Queen of Cups. So we have the thing that you want, the thing that you want, the Two of Cups, and the opportunity is there. Um, the opportunity is there for us. One of the reasons why I haven't um, put this video up yet is because I intended to do it on a certain day, then, you know, things came up. And even before that, I was feeling kind of emotional and kind of um, the energy at the energy that I was feeling was um, a bit difficult. And I can't really put my finger on why that is, but um, just lacked energy and didn't really want to do much other than what I had to do, my responsibilities. And then the rest of the time was um, doing nothing. And so that delayed me doing this video and, um, and then I started thinking about um, all this energy that we have moving into Scorpio because we have Mars, Sun and the Moon, obviously. We have Vesta. And it's the Mars energy is opposite Uranus in Taurus. And so there's something that is possible. It's possible, but um, are you going to do it? Is it too hard? maybe it's too difficult but it is the thing that you want and it, there is the opportunity so it's basically saying that um you know you forget that you are this 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 kind of crowned um special individual <clears throat> who chose to incarnate into a world where there will be a lot of a lot of obstacles and that nothing would be really that easy and things would be difficult and scorpio energy kind of reminds us reminds us that when something happens when something occurs there's much deeper uh, ramifications and effects and all of that and so we walk around this earth with all of these things that have affected us and some people can say that, yeah, I've dealt with that because I went through years of therapy or whatever, <clears throat> or I'm in a much better place now because I've been doing this and that. And um, all of those things are the truth. But I think that the deeper truth, and people always talk about the deeper truth with Scorpio, uh, is that it's just, you know, stuff that we don't want to acknowledge, stuff that we want to ignore. And me as a Scorpio moon, I get into situations all the time where people want to pretend like their issues aren't there or they've dealt with them or they don't have any. And you, with a Scorpio moon energy, you cannot have a relationship and not see it as if it's on the outside. And so every moon sign has their power and the Scorpio moon power is being able to see and penetrate through someone's bullshit and their facade and their arrogance and their um, lies and their manipulation and their um, biggest thing of all, the lies they tell themselves. And so it's difficult if you have a moon in Scorpio. You have to see everybody's, you have to see everybody's stuff underneath the surface that sometimes they can't even see themselves. And so the deeper truth is it's not that pretty under the surface. It's murky, dark. And um, we want to ignore it a lot of the time. Four of Cups. We're like excited to go on this new journey, excited to go somewhere, explore things. Um, this is a new moon about exploration. I definitely feel like that's what it is. And I feel like we're going to unexpectedly find things where we're like, oh, I'm not going to look at that. I'll just do this. And um, I'll look at that over there because that's more, that's more appealing. It's more pleasurable. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, this kind of energy of pleasure in this new moon because it's Scorpio and Taurus. 
I'm going to pull a card on the Four of Cups. We all have fears. I have fears of um, intruders. And it doesn't really make much sense. It must come from past life situation or something early in childhood. But um, I definitely have some fears in this life. And... Um, how do you face fears? It's uncomfortable. So on the four of cups, I have the two of wands. And this is a card of making progress and working with someone, um, working with another person or a group of people, <clears throat> a magician. So... The desire here to manifest something, you will make a lot of progress. We will make a lot of progress in this new beginning of what we want to explore, whether that it's something tangible in the physical world or it is um, a new sort of relationship or whatever it is, um, <clears throat> there is a lot of power to uh, achieve it and manifest it because it's already yours. So I say it's already yours because the sun and the moon together this masculine feminine energy, <clears throat> yin yang energy already being crowned with something. And something that is um, <clears throat> so appealing. <clears throat> and like the story, you fall in love with it. In and and whatever it is, it's just it's just existence. It's just existing. And you fall in love with it. It's not, it's not trying to, to manipulate you. It's not trying to grab you in. It's just something that is just so beautiful that you fall in love with it. This is this new moon energy. And so it is yours if you want it. The opportunity is there. Um, there is a lot of, a lot of energy of um, manifesting this, making some kind of dream come true of exploration. It definitely has to do with exploration. Um, because an exploration and innovation and, and inventing and um, creating something that is completely uh, different than any flavor that you've done or had before. So all of that is going on, but at the same time, there, some things come up where we don't want to look at it and almost try to kind of find a way or a shortcut. And it's saying you can't take the shortcut with this at all. Eight of Cups isn't a shortcut. Um, and there are many things to, to kind of acknowledge. Eight of Cups is like a card of moving on to a, in, onto a higher level of, of your journey. So there is some reward with that. If we don't take the shortcuts and ignore the stuff that we don't want to look at, there is um, a reward. The reward is the thing that we've fallen in love with, that we want. Um, the idea starts to create, uh, it starts to create its physical manifestation in your reality. Um, so, <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles, why do we have the Nine of Pentacles here? Because I feel like um, there's a change that goes on. There's a change that goes on here. When we don't ignore something, we don't take try and take the shortcut or get out of looking at something. And because it's like, like the um, description says, there is a risk of being one-eyed and one-focused. And that's definitely coming up with this energy of like, you know, you're making progress, you're working hard on something, you're putting in a lot of time, a lot of energy and results are starting to show. And, but focusing just on that kind of manifestation is saying that there's a danger in that. And that eventually what you're trying to create could blow up in your face. That's what I feel like this reading is saying. So <clears throat> don't take the shortcuts. Don't ignore the warning signs. Um, do everything in a way where you, you kind of include um, 
everything that's going on in your reality. If you start to work on something and <clears throat> something triggers you or something comes up and you shut down into the Four of Cups, um, it's not going to shut down the manifestation. You're still going to create what you want to create and creating your vision. But without risks and, you know, finding the answers and the deeper truths, it just turns into kind of some kind of meaningless outcome. So we become stronger. Um, we become closer. And yeah, so I clarified the Nine of Pentacles and I have the Ten of Pentacles with the Three of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of, um, you know, seeing, it's the Tree of Life. It's like seeing more of your personality and your soul path being more, feeling more complete as a person and with this energy here before this before this uh two of cups opportunity comes in with this new moon energy you might start to recognize the, the things like if you don't ignore stuff that comes up and try and put it into some kind of um bucket or container and shove it under the bed and not think about it because a lot of people do that um if you don't do that and you kind of like open it up see what it is look at it maybe uncomfortable maybe a bit dark maybe scary there might be some fear involved um <clears throat> maybe you don't have all the answers and you've got to take a risk um Doing that is very rewarding, it's saying. You make um, a lot of progress and start seeing results with it as well, bringing in the Ten of Pentacles. Who doesn't want to bring in that Ten of Pentacles energy? So um, that is the, the advice for from the tarot. Um, <clears throat> I want to uh, pull a card on Alfeca, um, star energy. It's a fixed star. I'm going to pull in an enchanted map oracle. What's the energy with the new moon on the Alfeca fixed star? So we've got into the unknown. That someone who's blindfolded but um, is in quite a lavish kind of surroundings and uh, there's a bird there in the background so then we've got the energy of this card which is flying so a bird's eye view and then we have metamorphosis with um, a mirror image of a flamingo. What I feel like this is saying with this fixed star is that there is, um, there is an ability um, to work with some sort of special person, maybe a partner, or a spirit guide, or it's another entity, and they can see things that you can't see. Um, and, and it would be how their uh, Scorpio energy, where this falls in their chart, um, if it's a person in this life, if it's some kind of um, spirit guide, and you're fearful of that sort of whole realm, um, there's a message here to face that fear, because it can give you a lot more perspective on something that you can't see yourself. Regardless of whether it's someone who is physically here in this lifetime or um, some sort of guide, spirit. I very rarely talk about spirits, um, but the, it's coming up and I don't say things if I don't, if it's not relevant. And what I feel is relevant about this message with the fixed star is that 
that you have a guide you have someone who is who is we have some someone who is uh, our vision beyond our physical vision and can help us to create some kind of um, inventive different sort of metamorphosis within ourselves and within this process of whatever it is we want to explore. So um, I've been thinking a lot lately, I have a desire, Scorpio is about desire, deep desires. And sometimes we uh, intensely obsess about things until we either let it go or um, make it happen. And something that I've kind of been obsessed with lately is um, exploring um, in a vehicle that I can sleep in and camp in. Um, been thinking about the investment that, that is and would I be comfortable being alone when I have a fear of intruders and things like that I do have um I can take my dog which is protective but this is what I'm talking about it's like thinking about these things what do you want to explore what are the risks what are your fears and um, when you can't see all of the answers, there is, there is this perspective, but the perspective comes from someone whispering in your ear. So it's a partner or it's some kind of guide. We had the two of cups and we've got this card here. So I feel like it's a, either a soulmate of, or a loved one who is a guide to you. So I just want to look at this um, Into the Unknown card and see what the main message is with this and see how it fits in. Life is an adventure and often new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. This is one of those times. You're required to trust that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into unknown territory. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder, but a path maker. Whatever your inquiry, trust that you'll be safe. Stay aware as you stay aware as you discover new marvelous territories and valuable treasures. So this is definitely a card of exploration. It fits right in with this reading message. Um, there is um, kind of like a negative meaning to it and it says inexperience plus overconfidence can lead you into a dangerous situation for which you, you are unprepared. Always remember that wisdom comes from experience. Keep an open mind and enter this part of your journey with alert eyes. So with, with this Mars energy opposite um, Uranus in Taurus and um, that kind of masculine energy, um, exploring the, the, the physical, there's a danger there, it's saying. There's a danger of um, being too arrogant, uh, letting our masculine side get a little too um, dangerous for yourself or someone who is involved. So Mars in Scorpio energy is intense. Obviously, it's like a lot of passion, a lot of desire, a lot of lust, a lot of uh, intrigue into things that they want to find out and they want to uh, explore. Um, but there's a danger in because because we haven't been here before. It's this is what it's telling me is we have not been here in this kind of energy before. And whatever it is that you want to explore <clears throat> in your life now, it's possible <clears throat> to meet the person that you're meant to meet. And there is a guide guiding you. That's what it says. And I'm going to stick to that. So um, the flying card is the higher perspective. But again, don't ignore things. Don't do the Four of Cups um, thing because the Four of Cups thing is, it's really um, unhealthy because 
pretending something isn't real or it's not there or is too hard or it's difficult or it's complicated or something isn't really what it is it's a dangerous game that just you just get entangled in um denial so so flying you have the power to see things from a higher perspective if you were a bird flying in the air what would you see or if you had a bird who could communicate with you a bird so to speak who could communicate with you and is right by your side and can see from a higher perspective what would you see when you soar above life's challenges and opportunities a new perspective becomes available so this is talking about bringing circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose and that's kind of what i touched on before was that if you don't, if you do the four of cups thing and you don't look at something that comes up, a warning sign, and you don't delve a little bit deeper, um, you will end up with the thing that you want, but it won't be compatible with you because it's not aligned to your highest purpose. And so this is a sign that your waiting is over, that all your hard work has paid off and the things you hoped for are no longer beyond your scope. So this is a power um, that we have. This is this is what I'm getting with this card. The, the bird represents some kind of power of another entity, a new relationship, the two of you together, or a spiritual entity. Um, you have the, abil the ability to reach for the stars and find one with your name on it. So again, it's like a message of finding what is makes you feel complete and is in your highest um, purpose. So in a negative sense with this card is that there are times to take flight and times to remain grounded and avoid overreaching. So again, with that Mars energy, avoiding going too far. Mars and Scorpio may go to a little too far um, or has the potential. And then finally, the card of metamorphosis, which is obviously very fitting for Scorpio energy. Um, and I just love how the cards descriptions they're always just, um, they're so synchronistic with the reading and it's just beautiful. You are in the process of deep and beautiful change. Butterflies earn their wings through great effort. The process of change is often painful. It's never without losses and sacrifices. If you are to transform from one form to another, a part of you needs to die. Letting go isn't easy, especially when you're used to thinking a certain way about your life and how you live it. Just as a snake sheds its dead skin or a caterpillar dies so that a butterfly can be born, you're required to release your old ideas and embrace a necessary change so you can live your best life. Perhaps you're being asked to let go of a low self-worth or a dream that no longer serves you, a relationship that is draining or unhealthy habits. Despite your fear, you must accept that this is a transformational time for you. There will be some loss involved, but you'll love what you become. The um, negative aspect to this message is that there are times of chaos and darkness that occur. Much like the growing pains experienced by a caterpillar who is in the process of becoming a butterfly, there is a tendency to expect the worst when the first signs of difficulty arise. Again, going back to this whole thing about inevitably there will be some kind of warning sign a warning signal um and it's not to say you're doing the wrong thing um it's to 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 uh acknowledge it because when we acknowledge a red flag or a warning sign we address it it gives us a sense of um ownership in the situation of of ourself of whatever we're doing or 
whatever it is that we're creating. Because remember that this is untested. It's totally innovative, whatever the new beginning is for you. You haven't done it before. Maybe you have done similar things, but it's saying that this is completely new and to be creative and innovative. So that's the little message for Scorpio, new moon. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and I hope that this was helpful to you. Before I leave you all, I'm going to pull up a card from the tower and a card from the enchanted map. For a general message for the um, <clears throat> collective of this channel. The Nine of Cups. And Solitude. The things that you have done in your own time, in your own solitude. And the self-reliance and the self-learning the the diligence to um, learn as much as possible about these mirrors in our life that come through the form of relationships and situations and what does it make us see about our own self um, we actually find what we really want line of cups is about which is fulfilled in desire of what you want and Let's take the example of a person who has never really done that kind of self-work. They're not very self-aware. Um, they don't really look at themselves. They look at everything else. What they want is very different from what they from from something that is in their highest interest or highest purpose. So the the more self-awareness that we do, the more of this solitude that we are comfortable with, and and the beautiful realizations that we have in those moments. Um, our desires change, our, our, the things that we want completely change to be more in alignment with who we really are. So that is the message for Scorpio Moon. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.